was nursing my dreams. Now I ain't never been a gangster, but I know a few things. I just rather get the bag and start collecting the rings. But I done spoke too much, close curtain and scene. I am not a human being, I'm a full machine. I ain't holier than thou, I don't judge, I seen. Just staying down for the come up till I reign supreme. Let's get it. Yeah, uh, hey boy, we got another one. Ha! I mean, y'all boys ain't ready for this man. I'm still grinding, I'm still hungry, hungrier than ever. I feel unstoppable, losing's impossible. Go against the team, the thing they know not to do. Bright lights, game on the line, do what I gotta do. Time after time, we do the impossible. If the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have the same yeah, yeah, early in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, 
a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum down. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. On second and nine, Prescott going to take a shot for Gallup. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A big play here for Dallas. 41 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A handoff left, Elliott. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Again, it's Elliott. And he's got Rome. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. And some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys in front of him on that left side. Several key blocks sprung here. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and any, anybody could run uh, him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yeah. Backside guys, Man. That, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice sizable game. From midfield, here's Allen. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. The Bills at 500, sitting at 5-5. Five and five. But Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? Well, I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but... The attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. Yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are. Stay with who you know and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. On first down, they stick with Singletary. No, bottle the fumble. It's out. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. There's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And some room to roll now. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 66 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Pollard again. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard 
with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they are back down to 500 following the loss last week. Consistency has been a real issue for them so far. Brandon, you almost don't know what team. And this throw will be intercepted. Troy Hill picks it. And some room to work. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week, it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, all right, because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right, it felt like a matter of time, and you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. Credit it with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, they could also make plays himself, as we just saw there. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Now Prescott. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Maher is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. Well, They already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And nowhere to go. He only makes it to the five. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Allen. 
And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They played the gallon not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. After 1-17-7, the score on EA Sports. Behind the chain, second and 13. Prescott to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. This is caught by Hilton, and he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. Everything's going right here in this first half, and they've got a good lead, and part of that can be attributed to their success on third down. This is another conversion here, and they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Brand, if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line, I think I'd just turn around and hand it to my tailback. Too many things can go wrong in this situation. I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's Pollard. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Yeah, defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Here's Elliott. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. decision to go for it pays off with six points extra point by Moore up and good and that'll make this a three score game now the lead moves to 17 the kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25 ready to go for their next drive and they've sort of lost their way partner how do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track well this is where leadership really comes into play how's the head coach handling it the offensive coordinator sometimes they just make a joke all right guys you had your fun all right throw it out the window yeah let's get back on track here and sometimes that'll work just fine i guess it's time now to lean on that leadership oh he didn't spike it he faked it 
Under pressure, and they got to him again. Quinnen Williams, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it. And Aaron going to be intercepted for the third time. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. And that's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go in the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Up to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Meanwhile, Dax throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Now Elliott. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Peyton Hendershot, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys continue to pull away here in this first half. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two show pass, this two show pass, and if I would kept having a rough patch. Said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Down to the 42, second down. And that time, the tackle by Malik Hooker. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up on second and seven. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, they go with Singletary. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one, he ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Trying to hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. 
Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And almost, but not quite. Needed 10. He got nine. Fourth down. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Facing this big first half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. Here we go on fourth down. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. He'll get 8 on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen as the first half is winding down. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll cut this to a 17-point spread. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. This time they stay on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. 
And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. Let's take it in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Alert, alert, alert. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now it's Hines. Room here to run. There he goes left side. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Naeem Hines, his first touchdown of the year. And the Bills are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through half time. They sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Third down, it's Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Off 
oftentimes your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he loses the football a second time. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And the return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. So potentially a big turnaround brewing to begin this third quarter as this defense forces a much-needed turnover. Yeah, this is a team starting to work in concert now, right? They went out and got a touchdown to start the second half, and now they get the football right back. Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Allen. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Hines, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. To throw with Allen. This is caught. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up the touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Singletary he is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On second and goal. Out. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills are back within a score. The PAT good. It would draw him closer, but hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. 
And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out. Didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And, and rode him right out of bounds. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And a lane slow materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. That is caught by Lamb. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 36. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Down at the 35, it'll be second down. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carried around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line. Of... And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. He's at the 50. 30. 20. 10. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Bass on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So they throw 
throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. On second and nine, Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Throw it. Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 30. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. They'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. 108 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They go to Elliott again. Down, but he does reach the five. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Prescott down. He's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth-quarter lead. I know sometimes we can get four when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll show the defense. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. For the lead, here's third and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. They get one more as the extra points up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, that's always a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? 
Oh, he's got some breathing room. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he powers through the first wave, but he's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Singletary again. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. One final try here for Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it would appear the Cowboys are going to win this football game. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So they come up one second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And they'll indeed take a knee. should just about do it. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. Of, but now... It's about taking the ball away, taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory.